The idea of gender roles is an always changing one and has recently become very controversial. With people recently starting to redefine gender and believing in multiple genders, I thought it would be interesting to look into how the ancient world saw this. So in this video, we'll take a look at how ancient Greece saw gender and gender roles. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, and let's get started. In ancient Greece, the roles of men and women were clearly defined, and the household was the cornerstone of Greek society. Men were the head of the household, responsible for providing for their family, defending their honor, and upholding their reputation in society. Women, on the other hand, were expected to manage the household, take care of the children, and be obedient to their husbands. However, women did have some opportunities to participate in public life. They could attend religious festivals and participate in religious rituals. They could also engage in commerce, especially in markets, where they could sell goods and earn money. Some women even had their own businesses and were known for their expertise in various crafts and trades. For men, on the other hand, public life was central to their identity. They were expected to participate in politics, serve in the military, and engage in intellectual pursuits. The Greek city-state was a fiercely competitive place, and men were expected to excel in all these areas to gain the respect and admiration of their peers. Physical prowess was highly valued in ancient Greece, and men were expected to be fit, strong, and agile. They engaged in various sports and exercises, including running, jumping, wrestling, and throwing the discus. These activities were not just for recreation, but were seen as a way of developing character and preparing for the rigors of public life. Theater was also an essential part of Greek culture, and men played all the roles in plays, even female ones. The Greek playwrights often portrayed women as passive, emotional beings who were subject to the whims of men. But there were exceptions, such as the character of Antigone, who defied the authority of the king to bury her brother. Religion played a significant role in Greek society, and women played an important part in religious ceremonies. They could serve as priestesses and participate in various rituals, often involving music, dance, and the use of intoxicating substances. Some women even had a cult following, such as the famous Oracle of Delphi, who was consulted by kings and generals for her prophetic abilities. One of the most notable aspects of Greek culture was the Symposium, a gathering of men who engaged in intellectual discussions, drinking, and entertainment. Women were not allowed to attend, except as prostitutes or entertainers. This exclusion of women from intellectual and social activities was a reflection of the prevailing belief that women were inferior and not suited for such pursuits. In ancient Greece, the legal system was also heavily biased towards men. Women were not allowed to vote or serve on juries, and their testimony was often considered unreliable. If a woman was accused of a crime, her male relatives were expected to defend her honor and reputation. If they failed to do so, the woman would face severe punishment, including exile or death. Despite these limitations, some women did manage to break free from the traditional gender roles and make significant contributions to Greek society. Women such as Sappho, the famous poet, and Aspasia, the influential philosopher and advisor to Pericles, challenged the stereotypes of women's inferiority and proved that they could be as capable and intelligent as men. Today, we still struggle with gender roles and stereotypes. While we have made significant progress towards gender equality, we still have a long way to go. By examining the gender roles in ancient Greece, we can better understand the roots of these beliefs and work towards creating a more just and equitable society for all. Ancient Greece was a complex and dynamic society, full of contradictions and innovations. While the gender roles were clearly defined, there were also opportunities for women to participate in public life and for men to explore their emotional and artistic sides. By exploring these nuances, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the richness and complexity of ancient Greek culture. So, now the video is over. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments how you view this and if this was a positive or negative way of having gender roles in society. Also, please subscribe if you liked this video, and I will see you next time.